everyone, so this is part four, I believe, of my favorite series, and this is going to be my favorite lip products. So, to begin with, chapstick. You know, one of my favorite chapsticks. Um, I do love soft lips and I love Burt's Bees, but things that I use most often, and I'm going to sound like the little eight-year-old girl, but are these jumbo lip balms and okay i'll just show you some okay so this one's my favorite it's the bubble gum and it's just pink it smells like bubble gum it's amazing but i was using that one a lot so i took my least favorite which is the hershey's one and yeah i mean i don't care these at school or anything I wear these just at home, but um, when I go to school and stuff, I just take a, like the chapstick brand, just plain chapstick, um, or Burt's Bees, or whatever is laying around, but, okay, so, on to lips, like, li lipstick, um, actually, one more little lip balm type product, I love the MAC Prep and Prime. I think it is amazing. It smells good. And it moisturizes your lips really good. The only thing is that mine broke down there. That's sad. But, yeah, okay. So, I'll do, like, a red, a nude, a pink, and, like, a purplish or, like, darker ones. Okay, so my favorite red would probably be... Um, this lipstick, and this is an Ulta lipstick, and it is in the color Moroccan Red, and it is just a gorgeous deep red, and it is very pretty, um, <clears throat> excuse me, against my light hair and my very pale skin, so it's a drastic contrast. Okay, now for a nude, let's see, I've got to find the right one, okay, um, this is a very, actually, I'll show two nudes. So the first nude is um, Hue by MAC, and it's a glaze. And this is what it looks like. It's coming off really pale on screen. It's definitely a lot pinker than that. Let's see. Can I get it to its actual color? Here, I'm back up. Okay, that's like its real color. But... It's really nice. It looks like you don't have too much on. I mean, you can definitely tell that you have something on your lips, but, you know, it's easy to swipe on, and it's very, very, very pretty. And then the next one is a drugstore. It is the NYC Lipstick in 301B Cafe. And, okay, I guess I'm going to have to back up to show you these because this one looks really light. It is just a it's literally brown or like a cafe color and it's very pretty though it's kind of golden shimmery it looks really good if you were to have a tan okay so now would be pinks and I guess I'll do a light pink a medium pink and a dark pink so for dark pinks let's see okay this is the right one this is a very dark pink. It is by Maybelline, and it is number 145 Plaza Pink. And this is what it looks like. It's really dark. It's almost a nude pink. But, yeah, it's very dark, but I like it a lot. It goes with pretty much anything. And another one, this is a bright lipstick. It is by NYC also, and it is 316 Blossom. And it, this is, like, hot pink. so you can see the color. Here, I'll hold it out again to light. Okay, there. But this is very nice. They're very, like, smooth, and they feel light on your lips. The only thing is that the staying power on these isn't too great. Um, another one that's kind of a medium pink is by NYC also, 319B Violet Shine. It's kind of like a, ooh, Kind of like a medium tone pink. It's pretty nice. I don't necessarily reach for it that much, but whatever. Okay, so then light pinks. 
this is almost to be expected. I mean, I have it on now, but and it's super popular. Viva Glam Gaga. Yes. This is like, okay, why can't you see this? These lights are awful, but this is like my favorite lipstick ever. It is so bright and very, very like bubblegum pink. It's so gorgeous. Okay, now I have an orangey coral, and this is by Revlon. It is a cream, and it is 628 Peach Me. And this is the color. This really bothers me how the lights are so bad, but I hope you can see that. It's just a very peachy coral, and it is very pretty, very, very, very pretty. And then I also love these Stila lip pots, and I have this one. Um, I have no idea how to pronounce the name. If you know how to, tell me please. Cerise, Cerise, I have no idea, but it's a very gorgeous red color, and this is literally what comes out on your lips. They just smell kind of weird. Oh, and I forgot. Purple, duh. Okay, so I have, um, Plumfall from MAC, and it's a luster. This is kind of like a pinkish purple, but... I guess it still falls under the purple category, and it's very nice. But I don't know if this is my all-time favorite lipstick, but I'm obsessed with it for fall. And it is by MAC. It is a satin, and it is in the color Rebel. Look at this color. Oh my goodness. Do you see how dark that is? It's ridiculous. It is the darkest, like, berry color. Oh my goodness. It is gorgeous though. I love wearing that. Okay, so now onto some of my favorite like lip glosses. I love the Beauty Rush glosses. These are actually two of my favorites that I grabbed out. Juice Berry. It's very pretty. It smells really good. And Sugar High. If you have on a bright lip gloss, lip gloss, if you have on a bright lipstick or a bright lip stain, this will make your lips like pop. It's amazing. Um, I also love just plain pink ones. This is an American Girl one. It's pretty old, but I like that. Um, this one's very nice also. It's um, a Bath & Body Works lip gloss, and it is part of the Lip Alicious Tasty Lip Gloss Collection, and it is in Deep Aqua, and it kind of is a little bit bluish, but it's just a clear gloss, and this one tastes and smells amazing, and, um, I wear this one actually a lot. This Beauty Rush lip gloss, it's in Cupquake, and it's just a purple with, I don't know if you can see it, but it has sparkles, and it's really pretty. I like to wear it over Rebel. I think it looks so cute. Um, actually, that's Plumful. But, and then I also like this. This is the Pure Self Lips 100% Natural Lip Gloss with Sunscreen. It is in the color Natural Honey, and I won this on a like 17 magazine thing so this was sent to me and it smells kind of like oatmeal it smells very fresh and like honey but it has sunscreen in it as SPF 15 but the only thing is that it kind of like grits up and becomes I don't know the texture gets weird so those are my favorite lip products so um if you'd like to tell me what your favorite lip products are in the comments below and I will see you guys later. Bye.